Greetings all and welcome to the tutorial, Gravehammer here. Today we are getting back to my change demons and we take a closer look on a more fundamental approach on how to work a more monochromatic theme with bright contrasting OSL. After priming the miniature blank, I started sketching with the pre-shading first, applying a layer of administratum grey. Because I want to preserve the shadows as much as possible, I come over the model in a zenithal style approach. This way the spray will hit the upper 30 to 45 degree angle of the model and leave the black primer dominant in the lower parts of the model. Continuing with white ink mix to administratum grey, I increase the angle to mainly hit the 15 to 30 degree angle of the model. This way the less bright grey layer still gives the model a color, but we get a more bright genital layer. Try focus more of the bright mix on the face and upper parts of the arms and muscles, as well as some on the legs, while still preserving the shadows on the lower parts. These models do not have much metallics or any other details for that matter, but the iridescent horror I am demonstrating here has some jewelry and armor parts in its fingers. Come over these parts with whatever metallic color you feel like, uh, I am demonstrating a Rune Lord press here. This paint is extremely cold metallic color and it works with the theme quite well. Other suggestions would be layering the metallics with Castellax bronze and highlighting with Sucorax bronze. Before the next step I did a layer of matte varnish over the model as the white layers are rather thin. We are working with oils and enamels here, washing the mo whole model with our first filter color MIG Streaking Grime for dark vehicles. This is a grey screen wash that will tint the whole model towards light olive color. You will need white spirits or turpentine to clean up the model after this step. If you are unfamiliar with animals, you can check out my basics tutorial also found on my channel. Let the model dry up a bit, we can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. This will evaporate the medium and let the pigment stand on the model. Using a hobby brush loaded with mineral spirits, come over the model and reduce the amount of pigment left. This is called reductive technique and I employ a lot of this kind of work uh, or this kind of tech in my work. White spirits will reactivate the previous animal wash and you can pick it up and redirect it with the control of your brush. Mixing up Uptailung Black Oil in a cup with white spirits will create a wash consistency mixture and dab some on the model. As the mix is based on white spirits, it will also continue to activate the underlying animal, mixing in and creating a gradient for the skin tone. The black oil wash can be a bit aggressive and tend to pull up in recesses, so I recommend picking up extra with a damp brush. We want to have the black seat, uh, to sit more near to the bottom of the miniature and also in the recesses. You can control this mix on the model by varying the amount of white spirits on your brush. You can also use a q-tip to pick up any excess. I'm using largely a damp brush at this point. Um, uh, there is a lot of mineral spirits from uh, the previous washes on the model surface, so I can easily just push around the wash on the surface uh, of the muscles. This way I can bring out more brightness on the upper parts, but still drive the wash down towards the recesses and shadows. Ideally, for the next part, we want the model to be visibly dry, but keep in mind that animals and oils can take a lot longer to dry than common acrylics. Now with this part, I will demonstrate a bit more advanced technique called oil blending. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is, and the smoothness of the blending is really nice. Using Abteilung 502 Dust Oil, we adapt a tiny amount of the oil on the skin surfaces with a small brush. 
it will look rough. But we come over the, over the selected spots with a very soft bristle makeup brush and very gently feather the oil over the skin. It is almost like uh, dry brushing, but instead of adding pigment, you kind of uh, spread it and the makeup brush picks uh, some of it off. We continue to repeat this process. First, add few dots with your small brush, then sp uh, spread it with the larger brush. You can vary the uh, skin tone even more by adding faded white from Aptalum 502 and uh, work the same process once again. Once you feel, uh, once you get a feel for the uh, process, it goes fast and the skin blend will look really, really good. Once we are happy with the demon skin, uh, we start working on the OSL and magic effect. Using Huster Purple from Scale 75, airbrush a thin layer on the hands. Scale paints are commonly very rich in pigment, so uh, usually there is a little need for a brighter underlayer. Because the hands emanate a very bright glow, hit the hands with the airbrush from the side as well to give them a thin layer of purple. We want to use this color also for the uh, reverse senatal color, adding a slight red hue to the shadows underneath. Reverse senatal works just like senatal, but uh, turn the miniature upside down and work the surfaces in reverse order. For the next color, we use Ball Crimson from Scale 75. This is more pink red and we only need a quick layer on the hands. If you feel like it, you can add a tiny amount of this color to complement the previous reverse senatal, but that is optional. And a mixing white ink to pale crimson, we make a bright pink mixture to focus on the hands. Concentrate the color more towards the very middle of the magic effect, so it looks like the horror is about to conjure up a nice little blast of pink fire. To increase the amount of brightness, we add white ink thinned down with acrylic medium and add few streaks over the very middle of the hand. Keep this mix thin so it sits in the crevices, but thick enough so it leaves a clear white highlight. And lastly, come over the whole hand area with thinned down fluorescent magenta from AK Interactive. This mixture is thinned down to a 1 to 1 mix with acrylic medium and flow improver, so it is only to give a slight tonal variation. I painted the eyes with a thin layer of fluorescent red from Vallejo, added some white to the teeth and for the lolling tongues I added some blood effect. Hopefully this tutorial answered some questions you might have, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Happy wargaming, have fun hobbying and remember, stay grim dark.